Well, day 10 has come to an end. As you can see, a lot of progress was made today. Uh, got up at 10, which is weird because normally when I get up at 10, I actually get up at like 2. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much all put back together. Nice red block. Oh, I'm so good at painting. I didn't paint this side, but you can't even see it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and if you think it does matter, then your opinion doesn't matter, so go fuck yourself. Oh, la 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 la. Okay, so 2 in the morning, I told myself it would be the cutoff point if this thing's not running. I was going to go to bed and tackle it tomorrow. Figured that thinking electrical problems, not that I'm so slow putting shit back together. Oh, <laughs> so slow. Um... Got the air box in, got all that. Pretty much this whole side of the engine bay is completely done. Uh, save, plug in the coil, which I guess I forgot about. And now I can't remember which one goes on where. And the bottommost bolt of the um, downpipe flange, I can't, I can't get my hand in there, so I'm gonna need some help. Um, look at how shiny that is. Um, so yeah, that's all that needs to be done over here. Um, tuck this thing in here. Obviously, I need to put it back together the front. Um, this is all pretty much done. I just need to put the fuel rail on. Um, run the, uh, continuity meter voltmeter on these so I can remember which one actually goes where uh, because I'm pretty sure it matters probably probably matters you know when the right valve opened up actually spraying fuel into that cylinder you know valve 4 is about to fire let's uh, spray some fuel in valve 2 uh, don't want that to happen so or at valve 2 because it's not even open yet all this is attached I completely spaced on <laughs> wiping all the grease and shit off these um, so my hands are kind of like it almost looks like I'm wearing gloves when this is out of focus so that's dirty which got that all dirty which I spent time cleaning and that all dirty which I also spent time cleaning so um, yeah I'll just come back in here with some like degreaser and rags and clean it all up once it's all done um, there's a lot of other spots that I could use touch-ups like over here and stuff. Um, yeah, so got the engine in. Transmission's all bolted up, all that shit's done. Don't have to touch that. It's pretty much just engine side. Just need to, um, injectors, fuel rail, mount the battery, mount the body and engine grounds, um, fuel pressure regulator, tubey thing um, this needs to go on to this like that so that's actually done um, actually no it's not because we had a snake it underneath because that looks like my ass um, yep, really not much plug this thing in I still have to plug in the easy K and then whatever that other computer is that's underneath the steering wheel uh, I had to unplug that so I could pull wiring through the fire uh, firewall. Going to have to plug that back in. I feel like that goes to the ABS. Because I feel like the ABS should have a computer. And I know that the SRS computer is underneath the driver's seat. So, I don't even know half the shit. I'm just like, oh, this fits into here. Oh, God says that this wire goes over here. So, um, I'm wearing coveralls. My hands are... Black as gloves. Uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing though. So, uh, if it starts, then um, I'm going to roast a set of tires off the wagon, probably. Just jack up, jack up the car, and um, pop some of those tires on the back and just roast them in like a school parking lot or something safe like that. Um, all the belts are in, which is going to suck. I'm going to have to take them all off when I do the time belt, but. Oh well, um, yeah, so I will see you tomorrow when this thing is running, hopefully, maybe, possibly, we'll see, peace out.